Let's go through this short response worksheet. I've got uh, number one here. I've already kind of redrawn the chart here so I can kind of point to it a little easier. We've got a 0.4 kilogram object on a horizontal spring undergoing SHM. We know the total energy of the system is 0.2 joules. We know the potential energy as a function of position is represented below, right? Okay, so we've got this guy here. That's the function, right? Keep that in mind. Uh, that's going to come into play in a bit. So we want to know the amplitude of the oscillations. We want to know a bunch of stuff. So let's first come into play. First, look at A. I mean, what is the amplitude of the oscillations? So again, amplitude is the greatest distance it reaches, right, on both sides of the equilibrium. So it's going to be negative 5 and 5 centimeters. So let's make my nose list up, to up here. My amplitude here is going to be plus or minus 0 0.05 meters. Convert that to meters. And B, what is the spring constant? This one we're going to have to toss in some math now because we can't get that from the chart. We got to remember that the maximum kinetic energy uh, or the maximum potential energy of a system is going to be equal to 1 half k a squared. We know the energy of the system and we know the amplitude, right? So we can say PE max is 1 half kA squared, A being the amplitude, that's where we're going to have our maximum potential. We can solve for K, because we know the energy of the system is 2 0.2 joules. So I guess I should say PE max is 0 0.2 joules. We can say KE max is 0 0.2 joules. Eh. We can say E total is 0 0.2 joules, right? Yeah, of course that's right. K multiplied by 2 divided by A squared. So K equals 2 PE max, or the energy of the system. 2, and then divide by A squared. All right, 2 times 0 0.2. We're going to divide by 0 0.05 squared. Point 0.2 times 2 divided by... 0 0.05 squared. 160. And it's a spring constant, so it's a newton per meter. Excellent. I don't like how I did my energy up here, not in blue. Now it's going to throw me all off the whole rest of this time, but whatever. 160 newtons per meter. Okay. On purpose. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. What is the kinetic energy of the system at point x equals 2.5 centimeters okay so we're now at this location here halfway through we want to know the energy right here and you can't just read it there are no numbers here you're gonna have to math it out don't go and be like oh half the distance half the energy that's not gonna be true either so uh, a couple ways we can do it i think what i'm going to say is at that position i'm going to do this right here so at 2.5 centimeters we know the energy of the system is going to be comprised of both potential energy and kinetic energy, right? It's somewhere not at a max, right? We're not at the equilibrium. We're not at the amplitude. We have both forms of energy here. This is going to help because now we can open this up. Or not, we can open both of these up and solve for the velocity at that location. So let's stick with variables. ET, total energy, is equal to 1 half kx squared, not a, plus 1 half m v squared neither of these are maxes so we don't have a subscript here or here that we have to worry about and yeah so i'm going to multiply everything by two to get rid of that fraction because you know me i hate fractions in my variables if i can get rid of it and then i'm trying to get v squared by itself so i'm going to have to um well i can subtract this term over that'll make it negative now i want to subtract this term over and keep this over here let me just mirror that. I have mv squared equals e total minus, or 2e total, minus kx squared. Yeah, right? I subtracted that term. Now I divide by m, and I have to square root the whole thing. So 2e total minus kx squared. Divide that by the mass. All right, we can do that. It's not too terrible. Yeah, there are probably ways to do this one a little bit simpler in terms of our calculator work, but whatever. 2 times 0.2, that's my total energy of the system, minus uh, 160 times the position that we're at in the prior, this part of the problem, 2.5 centimeters or 0 0.025 meters. We're going to square that, just that term. 
nice radical right there divided by the mass which was provided in the beginning I think 0 0.4 kilograms I don't have that written down yeah let's just mix up my colors all the way up here let's just go to town the whole way yes definitely 0 0.4 um, I need to get cut off so let's just finish that right there V equals dun 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 I don't want to cover it up here we go uh, that's the more confusing part of it so let's do this first 0 0.025 squared times 160 now I'm gonna do 2 times 0 0.2 and then I'm gonna subtract that answer I just got and I'm gonna divide that by 0 0.4 and I'm gonna radical all of that good stuff we're gonna get 0 0.31 is that what what is connected to the system at the position or er, something's not right my answer key is not saying this what did I do here 2.5 so I've got let me just double check my math real quick and I'll just do my calculator work again if I have to 2e total divide or my, subtract x squared divide everything by the mass square root it that should be right let's do this one more time um, 0.025 squared that times 160 and I think I did this right 2 times 0.2 minus that answer oh wait that does look different divide that by 0.4 yeah this is different take that divide by my answer 0 0.86 joules that's even worse what did I do wrong here hmm <laughs> it's getting awkward. I, it looks like I did it all right. It's one of those ones where I know one of you sees it. I know you must. Mass is 0.4 kilograms. That's correct. 2.5 centimeters is 0 0.025 meters. That is correct. <laughs> Wow, uh, here I am going back and forth trying to figure out what I did wrong, and I now I'm reading it, reading it. <laughs> C is just asking for the kinetic energy. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, I'm just changing C. What is the speed at that spot? I did more, way more work than I needed it to. Oh well, hey, it, the physics is all still right and the math is all right. This is 0 0.866 meters per second, but <laughs> we don't want to know the speed. Oh, uh, I guess we do for. Oh no, we don't. We <laughs> We just want to know the kinetic energy right here. The, the easy, much easier way of doing it would have been to stick with this <laughs> derp and um, figure out the potential energy, the position that did uh, th that. Eh, <laughs> I got to do that now. <laughs> All right, real quick. The uh, kinetic energy at that spot is equal to the total energy minus the potential energy of the system at that spot, which is going to be the total energy minus one half kx squared and then when we toss that all in which I know is going to be right I'll let you do it you're going to get 0 0.15 joules sheesh sorry about that delay I'm glad I redid my calculator work though because that was the wrong number there that is the speed at that spot bonus work D indicate the point or points where the kinetic energy equals the potential energy of the system so uh, the total energy of the system is 0.2 joules. They're going to equal each other when they both add to 0.2 joules. And so we're just going to split that 0.1 joules. So we're looking at any spot where it's 0.1 joules. And it says indicate the point or point. So that's good enough for me to say uh, when the uh, y-axis on the curve equals 0.1 joules. You could figure out those locations if you really want to. I'll let you do that. Uh, e, what is the maximum speed of the object? Yeah, this is not the maximum speed. This is the speed at that spot. So I have to do more math. So let me erase all of this stuff. I don't need any of this now at this point. Um, right, I don't think I do. Here's the hoping. The maximum speed is going to be equal to the uh, velocity where the kinetic energy is max. So we're looking at Ke max, which we already know is 0.2. So that's 1 half mv max squared. V max is therefore multiply by 2, divide by m, and then square root it. So we're going to have 2 Ke max divided by the mass, and then we're rooting that whole thing. Nice. 2 times 0.2 divided by 0.4, root it all, 
and we're gonna get dun, 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 two times 0 0.2 divide that by 0 0.4 uh, yep and then we're gonna take the square root of that we're gonna get oh yeah well one divided by square root of one is one I should have looked at my calculator first I didn't uh, we're gonna get one meter per second is the maximum speed nice and then F what is the position equation for the system that's the um, trig function uh, equation that we're looking for um, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. and we just since we don't know Omega or theta all we're looking for is recognizing that um, we're looking for either x equals a cos theta or x equals a sine theta you gotta write both down because we don't know where it began at the beginning point in time I don't like F that should be ditched there's not enough information to expand on that alright that completes number one yeah it took a long time but these are longer problems that's why there's only a couple on this whole worksheet but uh, let's get to number two